again, Bella. Hello. I'm Tina. Hello, I'm Peter. Hi, Peter. Welcome to this video which demonstrates how to reconstitute an intravenous antibiotic and administer it via an intravenous infusion. Begin by performing wiper. Wash your hands. Introduce yourself to the patient and confirm their name, date of birth and if they have any allergies. Explain the procedure and seek permission to perform the procedure. Expose their arm and cannula and reposition as appropriate. Observe the cannula site for any signs of inflammation or misplacement. Ensure the drug and fluids are prescribed correctly. Use the five rights. The right patient, the right drug or fluid, the right dose, the right route, the right time. Depending on your professional role, you may be required to double check the prescription and patient with a second qualified member of staff. Clean a dressing trolley with an alcohol wipe. Clean a plastic tray, first on the inside and then on the outside. Gather the equipment and check their expiry dates as you go along. Fill in the drug additive label and complete with signatures. You will need a clean dressing trolley, the antibiotic, some water for injection, a saline flush, alcohol wipes, a 10 ml syringe and two green needles. Also, you'll need 100 ml of saline, an administration set, a drug additive label, a drugs chart, a sharp spin, alcohol hand wash and remember your apron and gloves. Wash your hands and put on the gloves. Prepare the saline flush, placing the syringe back in its packet to keep it clean. Remove the outer wrapper on the fluid bag and check fluid for transparency. Remove the lid from the antibiotic vial and clean it with an alcohol wipe. Refer to the drug information leaflet for specific reconstitution instructions, such as the type and volume of dilutant. In this case, we will use 10 ml of sterile water for injection. Draw up the sterile water using an aseptic non-touch technique. Once again, always check the fluids and equipment are in date. Pierce the rubber stopper on the vial and inject between 2 and 5 mils of water 
for injection. Agitate the bottle and solution until the powder is dissolved. Now, withdraw the solution back into the syringe. You may have to inject some air into the bottle first, as demonstrated here. Pierce the drug additive port on the fluid bag with the syringe and inject the drug. Agitate the bag to mix the drug and attach the drug additive label. Hang it on the drip stand. Now open the fluid administration set. Unravel the tube, making sure to keep hold of both ends. These are your key parts that must remain sterile. Clamp the tube using the roller clamp. Do this by rolling the wheel downwards. Twist off the cap attached to the fluid bag. Remove the cap from the spike. This is a key part and must remain sterile. Now push the spike firmly into the port with a twisting motion. Ensure the opposite end of the tube remains safely in your hand. Squeeze the drip chamber several times until it fills halfway with fluid. Now prime the tube with fluid by opening the roller clamp slowly. Allow the fluid to pass slowly along the tube until it reaches the end. Now close the clamp. Please check for any air bubbles in the tube. Remove them if present. Stretch the tube tightly and flick it with your finger. This encourages the bubbles to rise to the end of the tube. Should there be a really big air bubble, you might need to allow some of the saline to drain into a sink or pot until the bubbles are cleared. Now close the clamp. Bring your tray containing an alcohol wipe and saline flush closer to your patient. Do you mind if I pop this on your, on your leg again? Thank you. Just going to change my gloves. Put on a clean pair of gloves to connect the drip to the cannula. There we go. Right, 
So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give that a clean. Clean the cap on the cannula with an alcohol wipe. Open the clamp. Please make sure there aren't any air bubbles in the syringe. Now flush the cannula with the saline flush to ensure it is clean and patent. Now close the clamp. Remove the cap from the administration tube exposing the key part. Immediately connect this to the cannula. Open the clamp again to allow the fluids to infuse. Secure the cannula and tube with tape if necessary. Set the drip rate according to the prescription. Advise the patient to let you know if they have any side effects such as a rash, nausea, vomiting, difficulty in breathing or a hot flush. Now sign the drug chart and make a note of the procedure in the patient's notes. Thank the patient and dispose of the waste.